In the last day, I was in the spirit, and I heard behind me a loud voice, like a trumpet. Or well, you go to Revelation four verses one. The Bible said, and after this, I look, and behold, a door was open in heaven. A door was open in heaven, and the first voice I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, "Come up hither, and I will show you what must take place after this." Come up hither. And I will show you. Now, in Revelation 1, 10, he said, I was in the spirit in the Lord's day. And the Lord spoke to me and said, right in chapter 4, the same voice that was speaking to me like a trumpet, spoke to me again and said, come up Peter, and I will show you what must take place. He was in the spirit. In Revelation 1, 10, in Revelation 4, the voice spoke to him again. There is a dimension of grace I want to show you, but I can only show you when you grab it. Come on, here. now this is talking about John the Revelator, who did business with the Holy Ghost. To understand, the Bible said John the Revelator was bundled and thrown into the island of Patmos. When he was thrown there, he was still in the spirit in the last day. This were men that met our Lord Jesus, and an encounter was birthed. And that encounter bad possibilities in their life to understand that they don't care where they are, wherever they are, they know how to do business with the Holy Ghost. And even in an island where there was no man, where there was no entertainment, where there was no fun, John the Revelator was still in the spirit in the Lord's day. And he heard behind him a loud voice like a trumpet. Right! And in chapter 4, the angel was speaking with him. You should know that John the Revelator didn't write the book of Revelation based on maybe he will write today and continue. No, he was in the spirit until the revelation was over. When God is giving you a revelation, he gives you the revelation based on a particular season and times. So God gave John the Revelator the revelation at a particular time. But in chapter 4, he told him that you must come up here. He said, I look and behold, a, a door in heaven was opened and there was an angel standing there who invited me and said, come up here, come here, that I must show you what must happen. Come here. Now, in life, there are dimensions. And in the realms of God, dimensions cannot finish. Every dimension you are operating inside in God's realm, there's a higher dimension. Whatever you have achieved in God's realm, there's a higher dimension. That is why when men are boasting of their prophetic, I love what of the creator of the prophetic. You are boasting of your anointing. You should know that the one who created the anointing, look, you can't frighten God with your anointing. You cannot frighten him. There is a dimension in God men have not attained before. No wonder St. Patrick walked in a dimension of God to understand he went to God and said, reduce my anointing for what I am doing. I have not seen the Lord Jesus doing it. And then the Lord said, greater things shall you do. And the St. Patrick said, I know. But it is beyond the dimensions of human beings. Man don't want to associate with me. Because it got to a time St. Patrick was invited to come and pray for a sick person. Before he got to the hospital, the sick person had died. And they have carried the sick person to the morgue. So when they carried him to the morgue, St. Patrick followed to the morgue. Because he said, I must raise that person. Because he said, I read somewhere in the scripture that they invited Jesus to pray for a young girl. Before Jesus got there, the young girl was dead. And Jesus said, the girl is not dead since asleep and raise the dead. So St. Patrick also wanted to do that. But unfortunately, the dead person was in the mouth. It wasn't in those days. So he went and told the Mochuma, the, the, the gatekeeper of the mock, he said, let me in. There is a dead man here I want to raise. The guy said, you are not well. You will so die, don't come back. I have been watching this Mochuma for over years now. No one has ever entered this door and come out alive. And St. Patrick said, will you open it? He said, I am not answerable to you. I'm answerable to the adversaries. St. Patrick said, how many people are inside? He said, it is not in your power to know. I will not answer. So St. Patrick said, in my realms, I don't count dead people. You are the one in front to count dead people. I will know the number. But the time I'll finish counting that you will not be here. And then St. Patrick pointed his staff. He was using this staff. He was a Catholic priest. He pointed his staff at the monk. And then the first dead man came out. Second one came out. Third one came out. And then the mortuary man took off. He ran because he was afraid. Maybe God had come down in the form of a man. That's a dimension. St. Patrick read this dimension that he went to God and begged, reduce my anointing because I'm, I'm 
going crazy. He was traveling on an island in a wilderness, in a desert, where there's no food, no water. And St. Patrick said, I am tired, God. I need an apartment to rest. And all of a sudden, he lifted up his eyes and looked, and there was a, a, an apartment. He entered there with his boys, and they were afraid. He sent them food. He called. He went for the missing, and when they were returning, they followed the same route only to discover that there's no sign of a man ever lived in that apartment. That apartment was provided by heaven. It got to a time St. Patrick said, I don't know how to receive no as an answer from God. God has never said no. It is a dimension in God's realms that you will enter there, that you begin to do business with God. You are bargaining and you are talking with God. You don't know no as an answer. You don't receive no as an answer. And whenever you enter a prayer room, you don't come until the answer is yes. Men knew the secret and they know how they related with God to understand. God said, as for Abraham, whatever he asks, I will do because I know any answer I give Abraham, he will treat it right. I know he will order his family to live according to my ways. And the Bible said one day God was on his way to Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy them and met Abraham on the way. And Abraham was stood him. The Bible said Abraham stood in front of God. The other end is left and he stood in front of God and say, you are not good. You are not destroying them. Why will you destroy them? Because the God I have been doing business with, I know him. He don't destroy wicked men with righteous men. He's a God of just and he always do the right thing. If you get a righteous man, will you destroy? He said, no. He said, okay. How many? 50. To understand the gospel. Now, listen. You can do it. This will become a pain. You are comfortable at where you are. Come up here. Because you can pray a headache will be healed. You are so comfortable. Come up, Peter. Because you are able to do, you can sing in a crowd. People are inviting you from one place to the other. It's heaven inviting you. Are angels rejoicing in your song? Come up, Peter. The hand clap of men may not equal the hand clap of God. You may be heavyweight on earth, and men are looking for you, but in heaven, no one wants to talk about you. The Bible said, one day David entered the Holy of Holies and picked the holy cups drank the wine and ate the bread and came out and then the chief priests were angry but they didn't know what to do because the man David was operating in a dimension that people even God himself said they reported David several times and God said David is a man after my own heart the level is operating no man has ever entered there because David entered grace before grace manifested and then there was another king the son of Nebuchadnezzar also entered and took the holy cups. And the Bible said, a hand appeared on the wall and wrote on the wall. And they invited Daniel. Daniel came and interpreted and said, look, this is the meaning of the hand. You have been weighed in a balance. God is looking for you. You, you, you have been weighed in a balance and you are wanted. Heaven is looking for you. You are in trouble. The Bible said, and the king died. Two kings, different results. The same sin different results. Men committed adultery in the Bible and God strike them to death. David did it and entered God's presence. Said, I am here. Ha! Le I am here. And then God have no other option to understand. The Bible said, Ahithophel betrayed David. Do you know why Ahithophel betrayed David? Because David was a chronic sinner. It got to a time Ahithophel uh, gave his daughter to Uriah and then David took the daughter into marriage and Ahithophel said with this type of sin I can no longer support you your kingdom must be divided and then the Bible said Ahithophel joined hands with Absalom because the Bible said Ahithophel had sin to understand the Holy Ghost work in him that any advice he gave it was as if God had spoken but immediately he betrayed David God betrayed him Alata, alata. The Holy Ghost left and David said, may the wisdom of Ahithophel be turned into foolishness. May every counsel he gave go back to him. Ahithophel died with Absalom. There are men you cannot betray. There are men you can't speak against because heaven is backing them. Listen to me. Case, don't give the same access. When you use this gate, you access this church. There are other gates you will use and you can only access both of you will go through this gate. It leads you to a super, supermarket. The gate you access determines the dimension you operate inside. Determine those dimensions. There is somebody who must come up here. You have been operating in that dimension for too long. You have been operating there for too long. Have I told you of a story of a particular young lady by name Linda at the Nessus College who was on fire? 
this woman caught fire. And then the one guy mistakenly proposed to her. And now came and said, uh, I, I, I want the relationship. I want to put an end to it. He said, I'm at the football park. Come and let's talk. And the guy came. He said, what did you say? He said, eh, I don't, I'm not interested in the relationship again. And the lady said, what? And the guy fell under the anointing. And was severing, manifesting. It is not every girl you said is over and they cry. Some people, when you say it's over, they pick you from the ground. Dimensions differ. What? And the guy was the guy was under the anointing. In this relationship, it is what I say that matters. What you say don't matter. I am a lady, but I am in command. I know how to do business with God. You can't just come on me and walk over me like that. I want to create your hunger for new dimension in your life. You have been standing there, you have been operating there for too long. Please, my, my sister, come up here. Come up here. There is a dimension the Lord is inviting you into. There is a realm the Lord is calling you into. There is a realm of glory the Lord is calling you into. Uh, when we were at the, at the primary school, I attended the Mango Primary School. It's a village. I was the champion of it. We went for keys. And the one small girl just came back. And every question before they finish, she's is answering. Questions we have never heard. Even, we don't even know that they are. They, they, they exist. And we got to GSS, I, I represented the school again. And I met another young girl who gave us a gap more than 40 marks. We were in the school, I was the champion. I met a girl who is not my class. You can be a flag champion and everyone is celebrating you. In your house, you are the icon. Men are clapping for you. But in Accra, no man knows you exist. You need a newer dimension. There are rich men in Ghana that are, they are not in the map of Africa. They are not in the ranking of Africa. And there are rich men in Africa that are not in the rankings of the whole world. I was surprised that God there was not even the hundred rich men in the whole world. Mekata, Zima Hunter, Kama Peter. Where you are operating, there is a higher dimension the Lord is inviting you into. You can do it better. You used to pray and the sick get healed. Right now you have to enter into creative miracles. You used to see vision small, small. Right now you have to enter in the realms of God. Like Enoch. The Bible said, and Enoch walked with God and was not for the Lord to kill. What happened? Enoch entered in the marrow state of a vision to understand the Lord thought that he was a spirit. He said, you are not going back. He has forgotten that Enoch was still blessed. You need to come up here. Paul said that I may know him. And the power of his resurrection. Paul do you want to know God? Yes, Paul wanted to know God. What about Moses? Moses is nowhere. When I read the book of Exodus, the chapter 34, I said, Moses is nowhere. He came harder. The same gentleman who used the sword and divided the Red Sea. The same gentleman that performed 10 diverse types of miracles in the land of Egypt. Thereby delivering the Egyptians, sorry, the Israelites from Egypt. Went to God in prayer and said, show me your glory. And do you know the meaning? The great meaning is that Moses was asking God, show me the material you are made from. Because I know you are made, you are not made from miracles. I have seen miracles. If it is turning the sun to dark, I've seen it. If it is calling frogs, I've seen it. If it is miracles, I've seen it. But I know I have searched in that miracle and I've discovered that you cannot be found there. Show me the material that came together to make up of to make you up. Show me your glory. And then the Lord said, if you see my glory, you cannot leave. You can't leave. Joshua was celebrated in his generation. Whatever Moses couldn't do, Joshua did it twice. And wherever Joshua go, men were celebrating him. The man of the movement, the man of this generation. That's why I don't like the West, West like major prophet, prophetic general, capital prophet, the only prophet. You are not the only prophet. There are many prophets that are higher and deeper than you. You don't know. It's just that they haven't been given an opportunity to hold the microphone. Look, when you are holding the microphone, be careful. No? One day someone came to Nalergo to prophesy and I was there. I, now, with all humility, I see more than that guy hundred times. Because what he was doing shows that he don't see. I know he wasn't seen. And then he was there saying, you know, we prophets, you know, as a prophet of God, you know, in the prophetic, in the prophetic. In the prophetic, in the prophetic. So finally, he called uh, one child who was two years old. That I want. To, I said, my brother, we are here. Grown ups are standing with troubles like Ghana trouble, and you are calling two year old children. What are you talking about? Call us and prophesy to us. He called one uh, and called another child. That hey, you come. The child is, is holding. How can the child be holding both fruit and be receiving prophecy? <laughs> guys are jokers. When you can see men, their trouble is like the troubles of Africa. I said, no, this guy, no, 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 this guy. I told my friends, I said, get up and let's go. I'm the city and they are prophesying to children. I cannot. 
clean their hands. They don't, they don't even know that you have prophesied to them. They will go home and sleep and eat bofroto and eat toffee. <laughs> Talk to us. We need it. We, we need to hear from God. The Bible said Joshua was celebrated everywhere. And the Lord appeared and said, Joshua, there are still many lands to be taken, yet you are striking and old. You are old and striking in age. What has happened to you, Joshua? The same Joshua that men celebrated were the same man. The Lord appeared to and said, You have failed me. The same man that stopped the sun. He said, Joshua, I have stopped the sun. And then um, um, biblical statistics shows that since the day Joshua stopped the sun, that was the time timing was altered. Planet Earth. One man altered the way times and the world gave a little time. What about Isaiah who had issues with God? <laughs> Isaiah said, have mercy on me, for I am a man of unclean lips, and my mouth is full of sin. The same Isaiah entered the house of Hezekiah, and when he entered the house of Hezekiah, the Bible said, he gave a prophetic word to Hezekiah. He was about to go, and, and the Lord said, go back to Hezekiah, and told Hezekiah that I've added to him another 15 more years. Isaiah entered, and Hezekiah said, what is the sign? Give me a sign that will make me believe. And Isaiah said, I am a prophet of God. In case you don't know, you see this sign. Instead of the sign to go forward, it's going to start walking anti-clockwise. Instead of going forward, the sun will start going backwards. And all men shall see. And then the Bible said, all men were standing. And they could see the sun going back. And their shadow was changing shape. Changing shape. It got to a time. And Isaiah said, stop. And the sun stopped. Men have proven that they were spirit on earth. Yet when they appeared before God, they didn't know where to hide because they could not be measured. Their words could not be measured. Their weight was not heavy enough for them to stand before God. They were looking for places to hide. You can be celebrated on earth and heaven is saying two more. That's why you need to come up here. Come up here. My brother, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. You have looked for degree and you say we should not rest. Come up here. Go for masters. Please come up here. PAD is there. Come up here. In your business, come up here. Come up here. Whatever you are doing, come up here. Come up here. Bishop Oyedepo, I saw him two weeks ago at the market square doing evangelism. I was in Kenya 2020. There's no place to put the members. The 50,000 capacity seat. Everywhere there are people. There are people everywhere. On the road, people were sitting on the road trying to participate in the service. Everywhere. Those outside are five times those inside the 50,000 capacities. And two weeks ago, he was still at the market talking to people. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. And then I saw Paul Energy preaching and Adiboya was sitting down writing note. Right. But this generation, don't let somebody prophesy. You cannot. You, they, they, they are not teachable. That they are able to see in the realm of the spirit. That's why I, I, I told them. That's why me, I'm very careful how I associate with Accra people because I have my experiences. Accra prophets, Kinesia, manipulators, and yet they are those who let you know that you are not in their level. You are not in their level. Kime Ligato. What is your weight in the realm of the spirit? What weight are you measuring? If they put you in the balance, what will be your capacity? <laughs> What will be your capacity? You will meet a man of God and it will be like he's the senior brother of Jesus. <laughs> and then even seeing them, how to meet them, the anointing is that, I, me, I was in Accra, that was last year. I was in Accra here and I called somebody, I said, I want to meet your senior pastor. Can I meet him? And then he said, okay, let me speak to him and get back to you. I said, no problem, I'm waiting. He spoke to him and got back. I said, hey, prof, he said that um, he's busy. I said, what about tomorrow? He said, okay, let me get back to you. He said, tomorrow to his beating. I said, what about tomorrow next? He said, eh, tomorrow next, he said, um, um, he will not be able to meet you. You should go and come back next week. He said, you should go and come back next week. What? Uh, 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 even, you are not Holy Spirit. I know how to send for Holy Spirit. What, what I do while you are busy, with all humility, the church I pastor in the Lord is bigger than your church in Akrahi. I came to see you and you claim that you are busy. I'm also a pastor. I know how to deal with church members. Take it easy, my brother. I said, my brother, tell your senior pastor, mm, that's all. I'm not coming. Oh, prof, take it. Don't be angry. I said, I'm not angry. I know how to live with men. Tell him it's over. And I will never go there. 
because I don't, I don't want men. What they, they, they just want you to pass through some process so that when you suffer before you access them, they say that you will respect them. Hey, my brother, take it easy. I was telling him today, there are people who have put consultation fee on their life. Even with that consultation fee, people will not come. Yeah, they have added consultation fee. Even you will, with that consultation fee, we don't want to come. You have added consultation fee. <laughs> you have added fee again. Perish! Look, God is looking for a generation that is ready to die defending the gospel. And God is looking for a generation and then a group of people that he will use to chatter the path of righteousness in this generation. There are men that he's looking for to chat the path of righteousness. If you used to pray for one hour, it's time to go to two hours. If you used to pray for two hours, it's time you go to three hours. It is a process. It's a process. Do not be intimidated by somebody's prayer life. When they come and share testimony, I pray for seven hours, my brother. Don't mind them. Don't mind them. Prayer is personal. You start somewhere, you end somewhere. You can say you pray for seven hours and I also go and say seven hours. Yaka, seven hours. Yeah. <laughs> That's not prayer. Any prayer, any prayer you are praying and you are thinking about food is not prayer. You are doing vocal exercise. <laughs> Prayer becomes prayer when you are no longer the one praying, but it is the Holy Ghost praying. But when you are forcing yourself to pray, it is a vocal exercise. For more than 30 minutes, you haven't left the flesh yet. You are still in the flesh. It is a vocal exercise. You are praying and you are what's happening. I'm on my way. Look, if you pray alone for an hour and you still have the, 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 the anointing to what's up, trust me, that anointing is not from God. Because me, if I start praying alone, less than 10 minutes, I'm lost. <laughs>